Don't you just hate it when your Claymore breaks? Howdy ho, Arkansas Pilgrim here again. Uh, if any of you have seen my uh, early EDC videos, one of the first videos I did, you've seen this sword before. Actually, uh, here's a clip out of it. Walk around with one of these, people don't mess with you. Except maybe cops. Well, this is that sword. Um, it's actually a knockoff of the sword from Return of the King, uh, Aragorn's, uh, you know, the broken sword that was reforged again. Uh, Anduril is the name. Well, this isn't exactly the shards of Anduril. This is a knockoff version that uh, uh, we bought at a local, uh, uh, you know, a local store. Uh, shortly after we moved here to Arkansas. Well, it got broken because it's actually a display sword. I uh, discovered that after looking up, uh, you know, other swords you can buy online. And there's, they have, uh, you know, quote, real ones, ones you could actually use in a sword fight. And also one they call display only. And they showed this as being how uh, those are put together. Well, I was actually kind of, well, I don't want to say messing around with this. I was actually using it in my prayer time. Um, uh, I need some, I need things to focus on or my mind wanders. And between having a cross that looks like a, you know, or having a sword that looks like a cross and some other things, uh, it, it kind of helped keep me focused. Well, in just messing around with it, not even swinging it around like I was actually trying to hack somebody up, it broke. And uh, I'm going to have to fix it. And this is not a redneck repair, which uh, I'm going to be hiring someone to actually I have a friend who has a metalworking shop and he's going to fix, he's going to replace this rod with a piece of stainless steel that he can weld to the, uh, to the blade here. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fix this handle back to almost what it looked like originally. I'm going to be taking this to him today to get the piece welded on. And after that, well, I'll bring you along and you'll see how I'm going to fix it and make it hopefully as good as new. A friend of mine has a welding and fabrication shop and I had him add, uh, well, basically change this whole thing here, chain, weld on a piece of quarter inch plate that well, the handle can have a handle here and then uh, part of the rest of the handle it will slide over and I think this is going to work except I discovered something Let's see if it's visible here get the light through it and just look up and it's going to be messy I can't tell um, yeah there you see that's where you know this is going to go through there it's actually, it's got a quarter inch hole and the slot is actually thinner. So it won't go down. So I'm gonna have to grind this off, which I've already been working on. I was using my belt sander, but that Harbor Freight belt sander is, is horrible. Don't buy one of those. Um, but I'm gonna have to switch over to my grinder. Actually I have a nice little tool kit for the grinder. I got recommended by Wrangler Star to you know, make little tool kits for certain kinds of tools. I think it's the only one that I've really done it with. But, uh, and yeah, this is a Harbor Freight grinder, which is good. This is a Chicago Electric. They're actually pretty good. Don't get the Drill Master ones. Those are garbage. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and put a grinding wheel on this, though. All right, got my grinding wheel and handle on and, and ear protection and eye protection. Definitely need that. I'm going to go ahead and clamp this thing. Oh. 
place. Can have this to check the size. Well, here we go. Enjoy the music. I've been doing a lot of grinding on that and not making a lot of progress, or at least, well, because this has a circular hole in the middle and then it narrows down and I'm gonna have to grind a lot off there. So I figured I'd go ahead and try to widen this out a little bit and I have been doing it. The bit, a crummy bit too, because it's probably gonna end up breaking it as long as I don't mess this up. This isn't a casting though, this is a piece of steel. If it was a casting, I'd have already broken it. My usual precision work. Um, let's see. So I did, I did a bit more of that before I started filming it, so. Um, oh, hey, that's a lot more progress. Oh, uh, it's actually too wide along there, too. Hmm, so I didn't measure that very well when I give the guy the instructions on how wide to make this. Oh well, back to grinding. All right, well I've ground quite a bit off both sides here several times. Also went and got and put a bigger drill bit in here. I don't think I've got quite a quarter inch yet, but, uh, um, yeah, but I opened that up a little bit more. Let's see how this goes. Oh hey, all right, oh hey. What do you know? All right, that's, yep, it's, there might be a little extra play. I need to, I may need to do a little more cleanup on it and uh, just so it'll butt all the way up against and won't have any, won't rock at all. But man, that is so much better. All right.